Now, if you are headed to an outdoor event, you ladies know the struggle to keep the heat and humidity from melting your makeup. This is a big challenge. Here with some expert advice on how to keep a fresh face as makeup artist and image consultant, Brandy Price. Brandy, good morning. Good morning, Nina. I know for me, I think like I just need to put more on because I'm going to sweat. I need to put more on, but that isn't that isn't really the way to go. No, that isn't the way to go. Um, it, you really, the more that you have on, the more opportunity you have for humidity to get in between the layers of your makeup and start breaking that up. Uh, so you really want to err on the, the side of less is more, and less um, the less you can have, the, the less powder products specifically that you can have, which you would think would be the opposite, because usually you think a talc is going to absorb all of that moisture, but what that really does is it starts to cake up and peel off, which I'm sure if you've been caught out in humidity before you have had that happen. I know many of us have. Um, the first step really for you to have a flawless makeup experience when you are in uh, going out to Ruoff, if you're going to a concert really, is to focus on your skincare regimen first. Because the better your skin is, the less makeup that you have to wear as a whole. And I usually recommend starting with a four part process, a cleanser, toner, a treatment product, and um, a moisturizer. You don't want to skip out on the moisturizer because that's actually going to help uh, create a barrier between your skin and the outside humidity moisture. So you will have your the moisture that is retain, retained in your skin as opposed to drawing in the additional moisture from the environment that we're in right now. So uh, for me, what I'm using right now is a, a line called Ideal Radiance by Artistry, and that is something that gets rid of dark spots. I don't know. Uh, I'm coming up on 40 here, so I'm starting to notice more dark spots, and that uh, helps me have a better makeup routine if my skin has been handled first. So that, that's going to be the, really the first step. The next step really is going to be your foundation and, and ditching the heavy foundations that are out there that you've been wearing throughout the winter and maybe on the low humidity days to have fuller coverage and, and relying on something like this that is a 50 SPF, this is by IT Cosmetics, it is a 50 SPF with a uh, color correcting brightener and it has, it has more skincare in it. 50 SPF color corrector. This is a self-setting foundation, which means that you don't need product on top of it. This one is considered full coverage. If you have clearer skin, you might want the artistry one that has less coverage, but more uh, skincare in it. So that is something that you really want to err on that side. When you do the self-setting foundation, you don't have to use the powder, which means you don't have to reapply the powder. Um, again, creating those cakey layers is really what gives you the bad look with humidity. Um, along those same lines, we have eye prime. So you can use a, a regular eye prime. This is a clear eye prime. Urban Decay has probably five different colors right now of a eye prime that has a boost of color or a boost of shimmer in it. So you don't have to necessarily wear eyeshadow with it. And the main reason is the sweaty eyelid. So yes, the sweaty eyelid. That's what I was going to say. The, it gets all gross in the crease. <laughs> Especially if you have powder on there. So thankfully yes. some of these companies are coming out with a product that has a little bit of what looks like an eyeshadow. So you still have the contour and the vibrance with your eyes. But you don't have to put any powder on your on your eyelids. Because you can, you can get, it's not just the eyelid. It's it's the crease, Nina. It's the crease. <laughs> That's and right. how all of that gets in there. And then when you, you come back and you see all the pictures from being at Ruach and you're like, I did not, my eyes did not look like that. <laughs> Before I went to the concert, what happened to my eyeshadow? And this, the, the part is that that's the highest area to be able to create humidity because you're, you're opening your eyes and closing your eyes throughout the entire set. You're getting humidity into your eyes and into that powder every time you open and close them, which if you're singing and dancing, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know lashes are cute now everyone wants wants their lashes to look amazing and that can be a trouble area when it's hot and humid because yeah. the last thing we want is to start to look like we've been crying or something <laughs> from our mascara right and what you want to look for for mascara is something that is not necessarily waterproof save the waterproof for the pool there are so many uh even even less expensive mascaras that are on uh right now that you can get from l'oreal and a lot of other areas that are smudge resistant so smudge proof mascara smudge proof is built to take care of the humidity and not the uh not the waterproof part of it 
when you're looking at what the composition is of your sweat, you're actually going to be getting rid of uh, little layers of mascara throughout the day because your sweat is eating through because there is salt in your sweat. And that is what is going to cause uh, that kind of fall off. You might get little flakes. You also might just have a lot of smudging around the eye area, which is not a good look. Not a good look. Right, yeah. We don't want an unintentional smoky eye, Brandy. That is not no, what we're going for. No, especially when that was not, not what you were aiming for in the beginning. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Brandy, you're amazing. Thank you so much for helping us work with the heat and humidity instead of against it. So important. Okay. Absolutely. See you later, Thank girl. You.